Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. As we continue in the book of Colossians, I have this question for you to consider. Who was the first person to explain the gospel to you? Who told you the good news about Jesus? For me, it was a second grade teacher in a little church in Mojave Valley. And it was after that Sunday school class that I came home and told my mom and dad that I wanted to become a Christian. You have somebody who told you that truth and it took root in your life and it has changed you and it is bearing fruit. It's the same thing that happened in Colossians. Listen to verses five through eight of Colossians one. I'm starting at the second half of Colossians one verse five and I'm reading from the New Living Translation. You have had this expectation ever since you first heard the truth of the good news. The same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. You learned about the good news from Epaphras, our beloved co-worker. He is Christ's faithful servant, and he is helping us on all your behalf. He, was, he has told us about you, the love for others that the Holy Spirit has given you. So we see here in Colossians that Epaphras was the man who told them first about the gospel and they received that gospel and it has been increasing in their life. It has been growing in their life. They have been maturing in that gospel from the day that they heard about it and believed in it. We are not the same as we once were. Thankfully, I am not the same person that I was in second grade when I accepted Christ because of that Sunday school teacher that told me the gospel. I'm different, I've grown, I've matured. I hope that you are growing and maturing too. I hope that you can look at your life and you can say, you know, I accepted the gospel, maybe it was last year, maybe it was 10 years ago, maybe it was 30 years ago but hopefully you can look and see, I have grown, I have matured. The gospel is bearing fruit in my life. Let me encourage you to keep pursuing that growth. Get into the word of God. You're listening to the word for the day. I commend you for that. That is a great way for you to grow and learn more. Um, I challenged you a couple of days ago to read through the entire book of Colossians. I hope you took that opportunity and if you haven't, why don't you do that today? Dive into the book of Colossians, read it all in one sitting so that as we continue to go through it verse by verse, you have the frame of reference on what is happening in the book. And of course, Calvary, always continue to come and worship with us, to sing songs of praise to the Lord, songs that proclaim the gospel and to hear preaching that proclaims the gospel. You can do that at any of our weekend services you can do that online during all of our service times, or you can go and watch a sermon um, after the fact and, and do some catch up so that you're diving into God's word and the gospel truth is growing in your life. Have a blessed day, Calvary.